In this tutorial, I will teach you how to solve the 2x2 Rubik's Cube, otherwise known as the Rubik's Pocket Cube. But before I show you how, you're going to need to learn some notation. In the figure in the upper left hand corner, you see letters pointing to different sides of the 2x2. R stands for the right side, U stands for the upside, F stands for the front side, L stands for the left side, D stands for the downside, and B stands for the back side. Now you will see these letters in two different algorithms I'm going to show you. And the algorithms are just composed of different moves designed to get a piece in a specific place or to orient it correctly. So whenever you see one of those letters in an algorithm, that means to do the move it stands for clockwise. So this is R, and then this is U. And then whenever you see an I, although some people use an apostrophe, then you do the move counterclockwise. So this is RI, and then this is UI. Now it might be kind of confusing which way to turn it for the left, back, and down side. So you just want to imagine that you're looking at that side when you do it. So this is L, and this is LI. This is B, and this is BI. This is D, and this is DI. In the first step in solving the 2x2 Rubik's Cube, you need to get the first layer done. So not only do you need to get the white sides, you need to get the edges of the pieces. Now this is something you don't want to do. This is incorrect. You've got the white all facing up, but the pieces are not in the correct spot. Now before I show you how, I want you to try to do this step on your own. If you are able to, you will be able to do it more easily and faster. But if you tried doing it and, that, and you just could not get all the corners connected together, then go ahead and follow the steps that I'm about to show you. So what you want to do is pick a corner as your starting corner. In this case, I use the white, blue, and orange corner. So what you want to do is you want to find the corner that has white orange on it or white blue. And I'm not going to go into detail about how to do that, I'm just going to leave that for yourself. I mean, you can just do random moves and you'll finally stumble upon it. Okay, so after you get the two corners connected together like this, you need to find the piece that goes right here. And in this case, it's the other white and green corner. So just look around and right, right here. And you can, you're free to move this layer and this layer and just move any of them depending on where the piece is. Just bring it so that it goes under the place where it needs to go. Now when the white faces on the left side, you can just bring it up to pair it. Okay, but if the white is facing down, just push the corner over to the right part here and then bring it up to connect it with the corner. Okay, but when the white is facing on the right side, if you bring it up, you end up pushing this corner out of the way. So to prevent that from happening, Push these two corners away, bring this up, and then pull them back. Okay, now when you have the last corner to go, when you have the white on the right side, you just do the same thing. You pull the corners back, bring this up, and then pull those back. And when the white faces on the left side, you push these pieces back, bring that up, and then pull it back. Okay, but when the white faces down, you want to rotate this layer down, push the corner out of the way, and then bring this back up. Then you can rotate the corner over here where it's supposed to go. And then you can just push those layers back, bring it up, and bring it into place. In the second step, you will be rotating the corners so that they all go into their correct places, not necessarily oriented correctly, just in the correct place. So this corner here is in the correct place. To know whether it is or not, Look at the colors of the corner with white on it, and you see it has green-red, and this one also has green-red, so that one is in the correct place. Over here, this corner has yellow facing up, and that means it's oriented correctly, but we will be worrying about orienting the corners in the next step. And in order to do this, turn the cube upside down so that the corners you will be putting in the correct places will be facing up. You will be using an algorithm in this step, it is U R U I L I U R I U I L. The first thing you want to do in this step is get at least one corner in the correct place. So let's choose any one of the four corners on the top, and let's see, I'm going to choose the one with yellow on the top, just so that it's easier to point out that it's in the correct place. I'm going to rotate it over. And there we go, it is now in the correct place. Now, if no corners have yellow facing up, that's alright. So you can just pick this corner if you want, 
and rotate it over, and then that will be in the correct place. You notice blue, red, blue, red. Okay, so after you get one corner in the correct place, look at the other corners to check to see if they're in the right place. This one isn't. You can tell that the colors, the color combination is off. This one isn't. And this one isn't. So the only one that's in the correct place is this one. Now when this happens, you do that algorithm once or twice. U R U I L I U R I U I L. And you can see that all the corners are now in the correct places. Now remember, sometimes you'll need to do that twice. Now in this case, you look around and you see that this corner is also in the correct place, but these aren't. So looking at it at a top-down view, these two corners are correct, and these two corners are incorrect. So now you want to concentrate on one of these, and I'm going to choose this one because yellow is facing up. And then just rotate it over, and then that will be in the correct place, and then all of the other corners won't be. And then you can just do the algorithm once or twice again. Okay, now in this case, you look around the cube, and you see that there is an oriented corner across from your first one. So then, you've got two correct corners right here, and then two incorrect ones. When you see that, you just do the algorithm once. There, and you look around, and you will then find two corners in the correct places. And there you go. There's two right here, and then you just apply the same steps as before. One. Two. And that time it took twice to do that algorithm. Now you will only find a case where you'll have two corners in the correct places, one corner in the correct place, or no corners in the correct place. You'll not find three corners in the correct places and one in the incorrect places, and that's, that's just physically impossible. In the third step, you orient the corners correctly so that yellow faces on top. In doing so, we'll solve the cube. The algorithm used in this step is R-I-D-I-R-D and you will need to use it two or four times for each corner you orient. So when you get to this step, you'll have either four corners that need to be oriented, and maybe you'll have just three corners that need to be oriented, or you could have it where there are only two corners that need to be oriented. But no matter how many corners that need to be oriented, you just apply the same algorithm to each of them. But when you do this algorithm, the bottom layer will look like it'll become scrambled. But don't worry, after you do the algorithm a total of 6 or 12 times, the bottom layer will revert back to normal. So just fix in on the corner you are orienting until you are done. So go ahead and do the algorithm 2 or 4 times. R I D I R D R I D I R D. And that time it took only twice, and you can see that the bottom layer is all mixed up, but don't worry about that. Now for the next corner, rotate it so that another unoriented corner is in the same place where the last one was, and then do the algorithm two or four times again. One, two, three, four. You can see that I've done it a total of six times and the bottom layer has reverted back to normal. But pay no attention to that, just continue on orienting the corners. And there you have it. You've got the bottom layer reverted back to normal, and you have oriented all the corners. And since I had four corners to be oriented, I had to move the top layer three times for each of them. So to finish it off, move the top layer again. So just knowing those steps and those two algorithms, you will be able to solve your 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. This concludes the tutorial.